I lost my mind on the uh, Gary Rosington one I saw a month ago in Cleveland, and I sent it over to you. Yeah. Uh, but this one is way more crazier. Look, yeah. I, I'm sure you've told the story a bunch, but how did you get this guitar? Well, you know, it was really crazy because it really feels like this guitar came to me. Uh, I had been in, uh, in London a couple of days when I got a phone call from uh, a friend of mine who's a, uh, a guitar dealer. And he said, I have a guitar for you to check out. And I said, uh, okay, uh, what's the guitar? And he said, Greeny. And I said, bro, I'm not, I'm not interested in a, a, a guitar with a price tag of $2 million. And he said, nah, it's all poppycock. It's not $2 million. It's not, it's not even $1 million. You know, that's all rumor. I was like, hmm, okay, maybe you should bring it over. Wow. And he brought it to, to my hotel room with an amazing amp, which didn't help, the, oh, help very, very what much. What was the amp? There's an old Vox that oh, like sounded, AC30 in, or AC15? Yeah, it sounded incredible. It had these ghost notes where you're, you're like hearing other notes other than what you're playing. You know, that happens with the like old vintage stuff. Uh, and Dean... I had that guitar in my hand for like maybe a minute and a half, and I just knew, bro. Oh, yeah. I just friggin' knew I wasn't gonna give it back. Yeah. I was <laughs> not going to give it back. Yeah. And what blew me away was okay, I plug, I plug it in, and I hit hit a chord, you know, on, on the uh, on the bridge pickup. I'm like, yeah, nice and clear, and you know, it cuts. And then I switched to the neck pickup and started playing some lead stuff. I'm like, going, oh my god, man super super syrupy creamy tone and then i put it in the middle and that this is what makes this guitar so unusual the fact that that the the, the neck pickup is is turned around so the screws are facing towards the middle rather than towards the the, the neck because it's like that it creates an out of phase sound yeah. that sounds like a strat through a hundred watt marshall it's insane. And I just could not believe it. I could not believe that sound. And I thought, that's not supposed to happen, man. A, you know, a Les Paul all of a sudden turning into a Strat and a flick of a, a switch. Right. And it was, it was amazing. And I hadn't even, like, come into consideration the fact of, of who, who owned it. Oh, yeah. And who was, who's played it. I was just blown away by the fact that it was just a super, super musical, incredibly totally gifted piece of wood man unbelievable there's a, you know there's a term for that for a four letter word and it's called mojo yeah yeah and the mojo yeah. <laughs> that's connected to this piece of wood yeah. is just out of control